Uh, this is an extremely concerning situation. I don't think anyone in the United States government, Americans, do not support actual Nazis or white supremacists. I know I certainly do not. Interesting to hear my colleague just now talk about disavowing white supremacists when in 2022, you, she spoke at an event led by white supremacists and white nationalist Nick Fuentes and when asked about it, doubled down on it and said, we're going to focus on people, not labels. So get out of here with that damn hypocrisy. Now, why do people like Marjorie Taylor Greene even do this to themselves? Why claim that no one supports white supremacy in America? And even worse, boast about not supporting yourself when you've got colleagues like Maxwell Frost who refuse to follow the tradition of allowing blatant lies to be peddled as truth. And now they're going on about Russia and Vladimir Putin is Hitler. And they say that's not a good thing. And can we give a round of applause for Russia? Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. We are honored, we are humbled and excited to welcome to the stage right now for our first speech, and we love to get to know her much better. I think this is going to be the beginning of something great. The representative from Georgia, Marjorie Taylor Greene. No one supports white supremacists like Nick Fuentes. They're trying to cram this down our throat, these people that are not like us. You know what Americans want? It's pretty clear when they elected Trump. Trump got up there and he didn't say, hi, we're going to bring the work workers of the world unite. You know, black, Hispanic, and white workers for populism. Let's unionize DoorDash. Trump went up there and said, they're bringing drugs, crime, they're rapists. You know, he said, we're going to, I'm calling for a shutdown of Muslims coming into America. <laughs> you know, we're going to say Merry Christmas. He was like this close <laughs> to saying the N-word. You know, like, <laughs> That's what Americans want. That's what, a, he, this guy talks like us. We, he's our hero. He yes. said, I'm your right. voice. It all makes sense anyway. Marjorie Taylor Greene has been called Moscow Marge a lot lately, mostly by her fellow Republicans that have to deal with her tunnel vision being focused squarely on assisting Vladimir Putin. She parrots his talking points regarding his invasion of Ukraine, in addition to the divisive politics of Donald Trump, who was this close to saying the N-word, according to her former buddy Nick Fuentes. But she likes to act like she gasps at the thought of anyone being called anything derogatory. When... People accuse a white person of white supremacy baselessly, baselessly, and that is, an, that is a baseless accusation against me. It's wrong, it's hurtful, it's insulting, and it's just like a black person being called the N-word. And I think that is wrong and hurtful and disgusting. And so I will not tolerate being called that, and I, I thank you for, for calling it out for exactly what it was. So she's offended over being called a white supremacist but isn't offended when her president claims black Americans support him because of his criminal proceedings and his mugshots. She doesn't mind that Fuentes sees him as a bigot brother of his and may not even realize that she herself embodies the beliefs of a legendary white supremacist that they all follow. Joe Biden's five million illegal aliens are on the verge of replacing you. The government of this country is on course to replace us with non-Europeans, non-white people. And coming from all over the world, they're also replacing your culture. All the people coming in, it's even affecting the culture of the country. That's right, they want you to disappear. We need to actually get up and fight for the white race or there ain't gonna be no white race. They care more about the illegal immigrants at the border than they do the American people. They're giving out handouts to them. Our country just don't care about us Americans. It's all about a handout to all the illegal immigrants. If you're white, you have to go to the back of the line discriminating against white people. There is racial discrimination going on right now in this country against massive numbers of white Americans. Anti-racist is a whole weird ideology that, quite frankly, tries to make white people second-class citizens. White Americans are being treated as second-class citizens. There are now two standards of justice. It's a dual system of justice. The foreign-born population is now growing by 132,000 people every month. The non-whites are reproducing rapidly. Eventually, there'll be no more native-born Americans. Our people are having few children. We've got to start protecting our race. How precisely is diversity our strength? So how is diversity our strength? And I'll point out, listen, the Democrats are the party of the Ku Klux Klan.